All right, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to sit down today and speak about some of the supplements and products that I have sitting next to me on the couch. It's a very interesting video. I thought I'd make it because um, it seems to be a very popular thing that people are demonizing food, as some would say, quote unquote. But I wanted to talk to you about foods that I recommend if you're trying to gain muscle or trying to lose weight, so fat loss in this case, and um, some recommendations that I've used and some things that I've dumped in it because there is a product in here that I no longer use and it's got its reason. So we're going to get straight up into it. creatine. Now, a lot of people claim creatine is not good for you, this and that, it makes you bald. What a lot of people don't understand is creatine is a natural occurring thing in your body. Your nails are creatine, literally. Now, what does creatine do necessarily? It just makes you perform better. Long story short, that's what it does. I've been using this for a very long time. It holds the muscle better as well. It makes you perform better as well, which is true. It takes a few weeks, but it does work, just to let you know. Now, how much should you use? Three to five grams a day. I do anywhere from five to seven and a half grams of creatine every day. Can you skip a day? Of course, you can skip a day. Doesn't matter. It's not going to fuck up your gains or make you perform less good. I've had that I sometimes skipped for two days because I was on vacation. No problem, but definitely recommendation that I recommend. Now, when it comes to food, we got to speak about this. When I first started my gym journey, I wanted a goal, and that goal was weight loss whilst gaining muscle. Now, for the few months I was at home, I would exercise gym the biceps, but I wasn't happy with myself. I was like, I want to lose more weight. So what I did was I got in a calorie deficit, basically meaning eating or consuming less food than your body needs. That's all it is. It doesn't have to be complicated because it really isn't. It just means you eat less than you need. Simple as that. Now you've also got a calorie surplus is when you eat more than your body needs. So some people, which is considered a bulk, I did that for two weeks. As you can see, I've probably become a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can notice it. But I'm currently in a calorie deficit, meaning I am at max 16 to 1800 calories a day, low carbohydrates, high protein, high fibers. Those are my two priorities for me. And also fats. You need healthy fats. Those, so think of peanuts, think of meat, think of fish, think of tuna, the ones that got olive oil in it. Now I wanted to showcase you something. When it comes to food, the biggest thing is if you're trying to go into the gym is that you know a little bit about food. I've got some products here in front of me, and this is a very funny thing, I thought at least. I got a Doritos bag here. Notice how it has a Nutri score of B, which means it's healthy on the pack. I wanna know something funny. You compare it with this cottage cheese, this has a B on it as well. I know what you're thinking. Why does a bag of chips have such a high Nutri score? Fuck knows, considering this is one single ingredient, right? This cottage cheese. Nothing else, nothing more. One cottage cheese cup, one ingredient. This has like 10 to 12 ingredients. And it's got a Nutri-Score B, which is funny because it's super high in calories, super high in fats, low in unsaturated fats, and it's super high in carbohydrates. Why does this have a B? I don't even know how to explain it to you because I don't know the answer to it makes no fucking sense because it's funny i wish i could show you but i don't have the product at the moment when i get a burger i get grass-fed burgers or organic burgers as much as possible they are pricey and i understand that not everyone can afford them if you can't afford them you can just get the normal nothing wrong with them i just like expensive taste and i find it better for my health which is just me this has a b but when i grab a grass-fed burger it has a d which makes no sense considering the beef burger has healthy saturated and unsaturated fats, which your body needs. It's got high protein, but it's got a D. Does it make sense? Absolutely not. So when you go to the supermarket and buy food, I don't even look at the Nutri-Score because most of the time it's bullshit to begin with. What you should really look at on a product is the ingredients, the back list of the package. This in my eyes should have a E, not a B because it's got shit ingredients and it's unhealthy. It's a fucking snack. What is so healthy about this? It doesn't make sense. I know. Now I understand if you've just started off with the gym or in general, you struggle with your protein goal. I get it. I've been there as well. And let's be honest. Protein shakes are super easy to make. You can buy them pre-made or you can buy them in bulk like I did in the summer last year. 
Now, I use these for a while. I think they're fucking disgusting. I don't like the taste. It doesn't matter what flavor you get. They all taste like ass. Super expensive. In my opinion, protein powders are overpriced. They have become overpriced because they never used to cost that much. This was, what, 55, 60 bucks? Which is a lot, considering this would cost like 25 max back in the day. Now, yes, you could argue and say, but protein shakes are all the same. Protein powders are all the same. Why not just get the cheapest one? Wrong. The truth is, this is expensive due to the fact that it's branded. It's a very well-known brand in the Netherlands, Body Lab. Second of all, it's European qualifications. You're not just allowed to sell protein powders in the Netherlands. You have to have it researched and if it's safe enough for consumption, for human consumption. Cheaper protein powders often come from foreign countries like Poland. If you go to the Action, they got protein powder. I've got a pot of that. Is it healthy? I wouldn't say so. Not because it's cheap necessarily, but because the product itself, the powder, isn't as high quality as this one. Now, do I use protein shakes? Absolutely not. I stopped using this shit two months ago. You know why? And you want to know the truth? My stomach got upset every time I drunk one of these. I don't know what it was. I just, for some reason, whenever I had a protein shake, specifically this protein shake, I could buy one from the little, have no problems with it. Why? Because I'm pretty sure they don't add sweetener to it. They maybe add sucralose to it, but they don't add the other things to make it sweet. So did you replace the sugars? Because that's essentially what these protein shakes are. Oh, just like protein bars, super low in sugar. And you may be thinking, oh, that's really good. Protein bars are the absolute fucking worst. They're dog shit. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. They taste disgusting. Way too overpriced. The ingredient list is from here to fucking Tokyo. Wouldn't recommend it to anyone on a weight loss or on a gain. Wouldn't. The crap. And everyone in the fitness industry knows how shit protein bars are. I also stopped eating them about a month and a half, two months ago. Don't eat them. Don't touch them. Because I eat eggs almost every day now. I eat beef. I eat chicken. I eat tuna. Natural products. Whole foods, one, two, three, four, five max ingredients, that's it. Now, protein powders, if you're struggling with gaining muscle, can be great as an additional to your protein intake. I want to just let you know that this does not replace your actual meal. And here's where some people don't understand. So can I not just take two, three shakes a day and replace my actual meal? Fuck no, you cannot do that. Over time, you'll notice you'll get very tired. You'll get sloppy. Your performances won't be as good in the gym. And in general, your everyday mood will change as well because your body needs actual food. Don't get me wrong. They're good to add to your protein goal. I stopped taking them just simply because of the fact I get an upset stomach. I get bloated. And after I drink one, I'm straight on the toilet. So yeah, if you struggle with it, you can do it. Now, when it comes to cooking oil and butter, a lot of people say this and this and that. Look, the truth is the best is butter or olive oil. Or coconut oil, if you can buy organic, even better. In the Netherlands, organic products, they're not really that massive. They're not very necessary in the Netherlands because we have very strict laws in the EU and the Netherlands in general when it comes to oils and other stuff. Kerrygold is one of my favorite though. Why? Grass-fed. That's the best. Now, obviously, the best is organic grass-fed, but like I said once again, I've never been able to find organic butter. I don't think it simply exists in the Netherlands because it's not necessary because most of the cows are outside anyways. If you can't afford this one, what you can do as well, buy whipped cream. Uh, buy, buy whipped cream, actually. That's literally what butter is. It's just whipped up cream. It just takes a, a long time to make. Tastes good, and it's just very healthy in general. So I thought I'd let you know. Now, another thing, and this is a lot of things that people talk bad about, is fruits. And this is what I don't understand. It's such a dumb thing in the fitness industry, in the food industry. Oh, man, fruits are unhealthy. Oh, this and that. Shut the fuck up. What are you on about? This is created by nature. This is one ingredient, an apple. I eat an apple almost every day, and I mostly eat it when I have my breakfast. So before I go hit the gym, I have four to six eggs, which is a lot, I know. We'll get into that just now. People have different opinions on eggs as well. But I like to eat them before the gym. Because it fills me up, it's, it's got fiber, it's got natural sugars, which your body dissolves way better than products with added sugar. Your body will also feel much better consuming natural sugars than buying or eating candy. For instance, some people like to take pre-workout stuff and this and this and that. 
and then use it. And in general, you don't need it. It's just a marketing trick nowadays to get more money. You just need a good breakfast or good meal before you hit the gym, and that's all you need. A little bit of carbohydrates, a little bit of natural sugars in this case for me, and just some protein. And if you are on a bulk, some fats keep you fuller longer, which is also a thing I want to get into just now. Nuts as well. Very high in calories, but good healthy fats. I just wanted to let you know, you can eat nuts if you're in a calorie deficit, just you got to weigh them. And that's what I do exactly every time I cook a meal with beef or anything that shrinks in size, I weigh them down. And the same with peanuts. These are high in calories. But again, if you want to bulk, get bigger, these are fucking awesome. Because they got very good healthy fats. They're, they got no sugar. And they got protein and fiber. Well, these are nuts and raisin, which unfortunately... No, actually, what am I on about? These have no added sugar. Shit, I thought these were going to have... But no, they didn't. And that's the thing nowadays. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I go to the supermarket, I always check on the back of a product to make sure there's no bullshit added. Unfortunately, with a lot of nuts and raisins and peanuts, what a lot of people don't know is that when you buy them, you think, oh, I'm just buying nuts and peanuts. But then you look at the ingredient list, added sugar, malt ejection, and it's like, why does a product that has natural sugars need sugar added to it? It makes no fucking sense. It doesn't really, if you think about it. Sugar is addictive. I've been there. And it's hard. But cutting out sugars in your diet, for the most part, is great. If you can consume natural sugars, that's the best thing. I have a smoothie once in a while before or after we work out. It works. Nuts and raisin, good healthy fats. They're just great in general taste. I always like to add them with my yogurt. I think that's what you guys call them in the UK. I eat this almost every day. It is the most flavorless thing to exist in the world. Don't get me wrong. It is not the greatest tasting. But bro, sometimes for the gains, you have to do what you got to do and let the flavors go. I like to add honey to it and cocoa nibs. Chocolate. Yes, cocoa nibs. Oh man, it tastes like a stragetella, but without the guilt pleasure of, oh man, it's so high in calories. 250 calories max, this entire thing. Add some honey to it. Eh, 300, 350 calories. And then some cocoa nibs. You're talking about 400 calories, 450 calories. Got good healthy fats. And it just tastes so good with honey. Honestly, it's a game changer. Try this with honey and it will change your life. As you can see, I have a whole tray of eggs. Shout out to Eddie Abu because I've been following him way before he got popularized and way before he blew up. Yeah, he's become very popular over the past few months. I think I started following him last year's summer. And I think he only had like 50,000 followers at the time. And um, I was listening and watching to his videos. And he's one of the main reasons why I've cut down all this shit in my diet. Now, don't get me wrong. Everything in moderation, obviously. I'm not saying that you can't have a bag of Doritos. You can just make sure that it's in moderation because at the end of the day, this isn't food. This is shit, as he would say. And it's true. It isn't really food. The best things to eat is eggs, meat, etc. Now, if you're vegan, vegetarian, you've got vegetarian options. Chickpeas, kidney beans, good in fiber, good in protein. Me personally, I like to eat it sometimes with tuna, a little bit of ketchup, which is also another thing. Uh, sauces as well, very high in sugar. When I do get sauces, I make sure I get sauces with no sugar in them and i also try to avoid sweetness because it always upsets my stomach so i just thought i'd let you know i have a organic ketchup in my fridge natural sugars no sweetener nothing and it tastes absolutely amazing it's a bit bland but sometimes you got to do what you got to do eggs as well what are they so great for they're just fucking awesome bro i struggle with eating eggs in general i I'll be honest, I don't necessarily like eating eggs every day. It um, it gets boring, but yet again, you can make scrambled eggs if you want to. You can make sunny side eggs, which is my favorite thing to do. I crack anywhere from four to five eggs if it fits in the pan. And then sometimes I like to also combine this on the eggs, which is really nice. Now, another thing as well that I eat almost every day as well, because this is such an underrated product what is there bad to say about chicken now obviously the best chicken you can get is at your local butcher or if you have a farm near you organic is a bit more pricier but it is so much better in taste i'm not saying that this chicken doesn't taste well i'm just saying we all know that this type of chicken shrinks so yeah i've got 800 grams here but reality is it's probably 500 550 grams max after this is all cooked maybe even less if you're lucky I remember back at the time, this used to cost like four bucks and you used to get a kilogram. But then again, times change, prices change, salaries change. So it's not really that weird. 
chicken is one of the greatest thing. If you want to lose weight, you're in a calorie deficit, why? Low in fat. But yet again, I will admit and say natural occurring products with fat do make you feel uh, longer, meaning that you don't have to eat that quickly afterwards. Because that's one thing I do notice, right? If I eat an entire pint of this, 30 minutes later, I'm hungry again because it's got no fat. Fats keep you fuller longer. So I thought I'd let you know as well. So once in a while, I try to eat beef, which I fucking don't like. I don't like beef, bro. Minced beef, at least. Like, I'll get minced beef, but like grass-fed or biological one, it tastes way better than the, the shit from the industry. And then I make burgers out of them. And then on some bread, oh man, it makes you feel it lasts so longer. It's great. So really, what that is really, eat healthy. And that's definitely one thing I've noticed. At the end of the day, is it easy? No, definitely not. Nobody said it's ever easy. But once you start to get that discipline in of, I don't want none of that stuff. Because essentially, that's what you got to tell yourself whenever you're in the supermarket. Candy. Nah, I don't want, I don't want that. I don't even look at the candy section anymore. Only thing I have my eyes on is the meat, the dairy, and the fruits. That is it. Once you filter all this, this shit out, because that's why you probably don't feel good. That's why you feel tired. It's because you're over-consuming processed foods. And I could see myself in this position two years ago. I was always tired, had no energy. And now I look back and it's like, yeah, because I was eating shit the entire fucking day nonstop. All processed foods. Once you cut it out your diet and you eat whole foods like eggs, beef, etc., you feel way better. Now, yes, obviously, the unfortunate truth is eating healthy does come with a price. It's not necessarily cheap. But then again, what's more important, your wallet or your health? exactly your health is wealth as they say so i hope i was able to explain it to you i hope you enjoyed it now yet again i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a scientist but i do know my things here left and right and from what i could say bro since eating whole foods bro i feel so much better i don't feel tired i don't none of that stuff and obviously you can still eat this in moderation don't get me wrong just try not to because whenever i eat this i do feel guilty because i know i shouldn't be eating it but you gotta also live once in a while. I had a cheesecake last night. I know I shouldn't I shouldn't have eaten it, but then it again, it was in my calorie deficit. So I was like, it fits in it. I wanted something sweet. Fuck it, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.